Well, if you take a look at Keyboard Magazine, issue April 1988, you see that under the product reviews, you have the Kurzweil 1000 series. And if we look it up inside this issue, you see that Kurzweil has repacked its K250 sounds, the best of the K250, the legendary K250, into five different expanders. Four of them are modules, and the one we have here is the 1000PX, the professional expander, a 24 voice polyphonic module with polyphonic aftertouch as well. They also had the horn expander, the HX, the guitar expander, the GX, and the string expander, the SX, and the keyboard version, the K1000. But this PX version is really the one to get. You have more polyphony and you have more uh, a versatile set of sounds. You can use this for, for everything. All of the sounds are editable from the front panel, but with only eight buttons and a very small LCD display. Even I think editing sounds on these modules are cumbersome. So I really suggest you use this as a preset machine, and it works fantastically well for just that. So let's take a listen to some of the sounds I find really interesting and beautiful on this machine, and we'll start off with a really famous preset. Slave to the rhythm.
So in 1988, this module cost around $2,395, a lot of money, but it did contain some of the best multi-samples Kurzweil had to offer, a truly professional instrument. I especially love the string samples, the choir samples. There's not many drums, but those in here are really good samples. The pianos are truly excellent, and I could easily live with this bright piano inside this module for all my piano sounds in the, in the years to come from now on. It's really that good. So I highly recommend you checking it out. I don't think they go for very much on eBay either, so if you find one, uh, for a for a for a cheap buck, check it out. Check it out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Well, that sort of wraps it up. As always, I'm Espencroft. I am the '80s. Until next time, cheers.